Hey guys, thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. We're out at the range today, and anytime you're out at the range, it's gonna be a great day. With that being said, I do wanna say thank you to Mike and Lisa for allowing me to come out to Tallgrass Shooting Sports and bring you guys this video. They are kind of sponsoring the channel with range time. So I really, really do appreciate all their support. Got links to Tallgrass Shooting Sports and uh, Flint Hills Foster Teen Camps down below if you guys are interested checking out some of the work that they're doing for the uh, foster kids in the area. That'd be awesome. Okay, with that being said, we are revisiting the Palmetto State Armory PA-10 Gen 2. I've done several videos on this rifle already, and uh, they've actually been some of my more popular videos, and I really do appreciate you guys checking those videos out. But I wanted to take a look at how I could extract a little bit more accuracy out of this rifle, and I've done two upgrades. Since those last three videos, I've had some people ask me if I could do an update video, so that's what this is going to be. With that being said, let's talk about the two upgrades that I've done. The first thing is I have added a CMC single stage three and a half pound trigger. It's just a drop in trigger. You put the pins in, they've got some anti-walk uh, screws on this. So this is locked in pretty solid. And I can already tell a major improvement with the uh, trigger weight on this. So I'm hopeful that that will increase accuracy a little bit. The next thing that I've done is I've added a brake to the end of the barrel. This is going to be a Hancock Armory Lexington 30 cal brake. And the reason why I've put that on there is to help mitigate a little bit of the recoil, hopefully, and then allow me to get back on target for follow-up shots should I need to do that, especially if I'm going to use this for a hunting style rifle uh, in the near future. It's starting to get that time of year for me and deer season, Rifle deer season is actually coming up here pretty quick, so I need to go ahead and get everything sighted in as best I can. So, with that being said, we're going to shoot this cold. I haven't put any rounds through this as of yet. I'm going to take the camera and put it down to the target. I've got another camera behind me to show me shooting so you guys can see me shooting with the uh, impacts at the same time and then we will uh, definitely go from there. So let's go ahead and get everything set up and see how things work out. See you in a second. All right, so as you guys saw, this is the group that I had. I ran it on a cold barrel, so it wasn't like I took some shots off camera to try to improve my accuracy as best I can. And what I can tell is that I have improved my accuracy ever so slightly. Now, this wasn't a big, huge shift from like two MOA to one MOA. It was more like uh, about an eighth to a quarter of an inch at 100 yards. And to be frankly honest with you, that is a lot better than, <laughs> than what I can shoot. Uh, I can tell that the CMC trigger did improve that uh, 
That trigger has a very crisp break and I really do like it. No wall or excuse me, no take up whatsoever, just a solid wall and a really crisp break. So if you guys are interested, the, uh, the groups from last time was about one and a half inches if I remember correctly. And this is going to be right at one and three eighths from the center to center. Yep, one and three eighths on both of those. So uh, you guys, I'll even put the measuring tape up here if you guys wanna take a look at it and zoom it in. But from center to center, you're looking at right there. That's a uh, one and three eighths right there. So I'm happy with that. Um, I, I really feel that this one down here was a flyer but it's on there, I have to live with it, and I'm actually just fine with it. Now, from here, we're gonna take a look at the brake, and I've got a 10 inch gong target just about a couple of feet in front of me right here, uh, still around that 100 yard mark. We're gonna shoot at it without the shooting rest to see if that brake really does help with uh, getting me back onto the uh, target pretty quickly. So uh, let me set up the camera again. We'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> well, I just knocked the uh, 10 inch gong off of the uh, stand. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to shoot it with it hanging right there to see if I can get a little bit more precision out of it. I think I can get it. Let's see here. Got it. Still shaking, I think I got one more round. And here we go. All right. So there you go, five for five on the PA-10 Gen 2 and with the Hancock Armory Lexington 30 cal brake. The CMC three and a half pound single stage trigger. I really like that combination. I do feel that I was able to get back on target just a little bit quicker, maybe marginal, but at the end of the day, at the very least, the brake really does make a aesthetic difference, <laughs> if anything. It does feel a lot better. So let me go ahead and reload this. I'll set my gong back up and uh, we'll shoot from standing and see how that turns out as well. Okay guys, so down, let's see, right about there is the, uh, the gong and we're gonna try it offhand standing. I'm not very good at uh, taking standing shots. So we'll go ahead and try it and see what happens. Hopefully I can get all five on target, but uh, I'm pretty sure that these upgrades will really help out. So let's go ahead and get Locked and loaded, here we go. Let's see what I can do. Well, <sighs> I'm having trouble with the gong falling off of its stand, 
uh, but we're gonna go ahead and try to hit it where it stands right now. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> All right, let's see. Trying to let that sh stop swinging a little bit. Yeah, missed that one. I yanked it. All right. <laughs> and I knocked the gong off again. So there you have it. Four out of five from standing, that's okay. The group looks pretty decent. I'll get a picture of it so you guys can see, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what happened with my gong uh, and we'll go from there. There you have it, PA-10 Gen 2 from Palmetto State Armory. I'm, uh, I'm fine with this. Uh, I had a, a mile shot with this setup in 6.5 Creedmoor back in May with uh, the PSA team and that was pretty cool. So far, so good. Haven't had any issues with uh, feeding, extracting, uh, or anything like that. So running very, very well. Really do like the upgrades, like the Hancock Armory Lexington 30 cal brake, and that CMC trigger is pretty nice. It's a flatty, so uh, can't really beat it. That being said, that's really all I got this time. Thanks so much for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. You guys are really supporting the channel, and I can't say enough, really, uh, hits me right here. So thanks a lot, guys. I sure do appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Take it easy, y'all. Bye.